Hello, my name is Cecile and I work as a customer success manager here at Storekit. I'm going to talk you through some of the features of Storekit Order and Pay. Order and Pay is a free table ordering software for phones. So it allows your guests to order and pay for their meal and drink. They do that with their phone in your restaurant from the comfort of their table. But the main reason restaurants get order and pay is that it's been shown to boost customer orders. Digital ordering increases order sizes by as much as 30% because people add modifiers, sides and desserts. Also, tables is the default word, but they can be set to anything. Rooms, goal poles, teams, seats or anything you like. So not only does this software get more orders for restaurants and bars, but it can expand where it's appropriate to take orders for venues of all kinds. This video will show you how to get started and some of the software's features. We've come up with our own restaurant concept for this video, the International Chicken Bar. Our fictional restaurant serves fried chicken in different styles and holds about 50 covers. So we are super excited to start using Storekit Order and Pay. Three quick notes before we start. First, if at any point you feel like I'm going too fast or too slow, YouTube lets you set the speed of videos. You can also use the timestamp buttons in the video description to navigate to the right part of the video. Second, this is the in-store order and pay video. So if you're looking for its sister software, which is for pickup and delivery, it's the next video over. Click the link in the top right of the screen. Finally, this software is free with our payment processing. There's no monthly fees and no commission. So you can easily create a store and see whether you like it. Okay, before we go through the setup process, I want to show you what the international chicken bar menu looks like from the customer perspective and what a customer can do with this software. As a customer, you would take a seat in the restaurant and scan a QR code at the table that will take you straight to the food and drinks menu. You can print and laminate QR codes, but they look really good on wood or metal for a longer term setup. Alternatively, some restaurants make the menu their Wi-Fi homepage and you have to select your table there. Our menu is designed to be familiar and super usable so that anybody can use it, regardless of age or ability. There are different categories and it's best for restaurants to set a picture for as many food items as they can so that the menu looks really appetizing. We can also set messages at the top for your guests. You can use these for allergen notices or any communication for your guests. The menu items themselves are clickable for descriptions and you get a larger photo and the option to add it to your basket. Here's an item where I've added some modifiers, which are these little things below. Here, it's inviting us to add a side, but you can also add choices to change the nature of the dish, like make it bigger. This is the big area where order and pay will boost spending. So I want to make sure that every item has a great side option. We can also see allergens, which display like this, and which you can set for every item. You can see that this is gluten-free, and there's a bunch of different ones, including dairy-free, halal, vegan. Oh, some items are sold out here. That's because on the restaurant side, I have used the inventory tool to identify that I run out, or I've pressed pause on an item as a short-term measure. Next, let's move to checkout. At the top, I find different messages from the ones on the menu. These here are related to checkout. The restaurant is asking me to note all dietary requirements, and actually, I'm allergic to peanuts. So I'm gonna write that here in the order notes. Et voilà, the restaurant has accepted my order. You can accept all card types through Storekit Order and Pay for a totally frictionless checkout experience. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up your first store. I'm also putting all of this information in the blog so you can get all of that there if you miss something. This screen is the first step when I first go to set up my store. We type in our name and our description. We found that the best descriptions are short and sweet. The logo. The space in which the logo appears is round and small, so bear that in mind when you're choosing what to put there. It will appear as a circle, about 60 per 60 pixels on the page itself. That's going to be too small for any text, so if you have a textless version of your logo, that's the appropriate one. The aspect ratio of the cover photo will be 277 to 528, so you want a picture which is approximately twice as wide as it is tall. 
It's also big enough that you can include text if it's large in the picture. Next, your store profile. You can set your email and contact details. The email is going to receive notifications when orders come through, so you might want to make one for this purpose. I set my opening hours. The chicken bar will be open from early till late to get as many people eating chicken as possible. Et voilà, I can click create on my store. This automatically creates a menu. Now, I'm through to building my menu. Simply click on this button to add a category. So I'm going to divide the dishes in my chicken restaurant by continent to make it feel more international. I can add descriptions to my categories and I can also add descriptions to my food. The food thumbnails have about 11 words. For menu pictures, you want something which is square in dimension of at least 500 to 500 pixels and you want your food in the center of the image. This is also where I can add modifiers and sides. Remember, the things which we know lead to higher order sizes is appetizing pictures and options to get sides and customize items. Now I want to go back to my store settings because after clicking on create, a bunch of further settings have opened up, including the order and pay section. First, and this is really important, tick the box to enable in-store ordering. Don't worry about the delivery and pickup sections. They're only relevant for people using this as a takeaway software. If you're curious about that, you can learn about takeaway functionalities in the description. Instead, I can select the amount of service charge options that I want to mandate. But best of all, I can set up my floor plan. I can create a bar area, a dining room, and a terrace. Then I'll add tables. Here's what it looks like when it's done. You can start receiving orders and see their status via your very own order and pay system. There's too much to cover in one video here. In the coming months, we've got loads of videos and support articles planned for all our different features. So I will show you the different sections of the software and how you can get started. First, let's look at the store tab. This is where we can add our second location and choose which menus apply to which restaurant. It's also where we can change our store layout if we like. The discount tab is where you can set discounts to your menu. Discounts come with codes, names, and you can apply them to specific stores or to food only. They can be a fixed amount or a percentage, and you can set a minimum spend and control to prevent overuse. Of course, there's the order portal. If we click on live orders, you can see that my order has just come through here on the left. I can print the docket using this button once the printer is installed. There's an optional extra model you can get which will allow our software to integrate with your ePass system and any other software you might have like Uber Eats. So you can understand what's happening across your whole restaurant setup. Finally, there's an internal reporting suite. The sales tab shows you what you've sold, what's selling well and how much revenue you're making in different areas. The customer section will keep a database of all your customers so that you can begin to analyze which are your biggest fans and best vendors. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you these sections for now. The software is getting better all the time, so this might get out of date pretty quick. So, for the up-to-date information, what you need to do is this. First, click on the link in the description, which will link you to a short form. Second, download the information about our reporting suite. If you like it, ask a store kit representative how you can get the most out of this software. The final thing to know about store kit order and pay is that we have a dedicated support team, including me. My job is to help customers like you, so I'm always available during working hours if you have questions when you get set up with your store. We're keen to hear feedback about the software, so let us know what you like and what your concerns are in the comments below. Thank you, and to make sure loads of people see this video, click like and subscribe to our channel.